Hello everyone and welcome to the Pottery Corner, my studio down on the south coast of England near Chichester. And today I thought we'd do something slightly different. Um, I often get asked for uh, a tour of the studio, so I thought today I would combine a tour of the studio with um, a where in the world are you? So you know I often ask you where in the world you're viewing from. Um, and the reason for that is I'm just fascinated about how many people are watching from different countries across the world. So I've done a little bit of research on the comments of all the videos that I've done so far, of which there are about 50. So it was quite a lot of research. And I have written down where you are all viewing from. So when you've been kind enough to say where you're viewing from, I've made up a little chart and I've transferred that information onto a, um, a world map. Um, but before we do that, I thought that I would just show you where I am. So this is a map of the south of England, as you can see. Uh, so this is London here. Um, and then uh, this is just the south of the country. So you have uh, Wales here and Scotland up the top. Um, so London is here and we are recording from just north of this island. This little island here is called the Isle of Wight. Um, and we're, fo we're filming from here, which is, um, I use my pen, which is, um, we're just outside of Chichester, right down on the south coast. Um, and from the, uh, the village name, which is Fishbourne, um, you'll see that we are literally right down by the harbour and the harbour is actually Roman and we have a Roman villa about 500 yards away from our house um, where they have um, mosaics which are over 2,000 years old so some of them are about four or 500 um, BC, so before Christ. So we're very lucky to have the um, Roman palace just down the way from us. And the harbour, which is on the Fishbourne picture, is a Roman harbour. So it's been here for an awfully long time. So that is where we are. Um, and I thought that I would just take you down to the world map, um, which I have put on the wall on the stairs so that I can update it um, as you very kindly tell me where you are in the world. So that's an absolute opportunity this time for you to just pop in the comments where you are. So here is my world map on the wall, um, which was very kindly done by a friend of mine who has a company called Stickers for Walls on Etsy. So stickers with the numeral four and walls, as in what you're going to put it onto. Um, and Karen is a long-term student um, and a very, very uh, clever, um, she's also known as the Vinyl Queen, um, but she does these uh, wall stickers which can be removed without damaging your paintwork. So I had Karen make me one of these with my Pottery Corner logo. So these are some of the USA people. And uh, there's quite a lot um, that view from the states so there are those and finishing with these on this page and we have one viewer from hawaii betty west so that's rather nice i've got a pin to put in for hawaii and this one is carolyn pierce at mudworks who is in loveland in colorado and again um, i know denver's uh, in Colorado. So I'm just going to pop your pin in that area. There you go. That's yours, Carolyn. Five lovely viewers from New Zealand. Right across the other side of the world where it is night time there when it is daytime here so could be viewing the videos at quite the opposite time of day 
So I decided on getting the map to actually colour code the pins. As you can see, most of the pins are red and they are red pins for YouTube watchers. So people who have commented on my uh, videos in the past and told me where they've come from. Now you'll see that there are also gold pins um, on this map and those represent people who also follow me on Instagram. Now obviously uh, I don't know some of your um, your names on Instagram. Sometimes it's difficult to tell if it's the same person so I do know that um, the pins that are in there are correct but it might be that there are more people following me on Instagram than I can tell. So I just thought that I would go through a few of them. I was talking about my friend Karen earlier. So um, Karen Griffin, uh, the lady who does the um, the stickers for walls, uh, that's her pin. And I have one on here for um, Joe, who um, you will remember was my student who very sadly passed away uh, tragically young last year. So I have put um, a gold pin on for Jo because she is always remembered here. Um, and then we have Lisa Taylor, who is in the north of Wales. So that's your pin, Lisa. Um, and then we have Barbara, and I'm not going to pronounce your name right, Krajewski. Maybe that's not a bad go. Uh, she's in Edinburgh, so she's up here near Scotland, in Scotland. So that's yours, Barbara. Um, Emma Bailiou, she's down in, in Chichester as well, so a gold pin for Emma and also for Carolyn Law, who is also one of my students. So again, I've, I've only used two gold pins there because it's going to get too crowded. Um, there is a gold viewer in Germany, um, Kay Jonas. I don't know your Christian name, but that's your pin there for your Germany uh, pin. Um, and then we go on to... Anita Smedding, you're in the Netherlands, so that's your gold pin, Anita. Um, and then Mari Maria Brunegard, sorry, not Brunegard, Brunegard, is in Sweden, so that's her gold pin there. Um, and then I have two Australian uh, viewers, I'll just step down the step, two Australian viewers, um, Kerin Smith in Sydney, so she is here, this gold pin here. And then Trudy Chugley, who is in Queensland, who I've put there. I'm quite sure it's probably in the wrong place, but I think that's Queensland up there. Um, so those are the Australian ones. There are also two in Canada. Uh, one is Pia Stenholt in Ottawa, uh, which is here. So that's your pin, Pia. And then um, Cher McKittrick, who is over on Vancouver Island, and I hope I've got that in the right place. It might be there, but I, I think it's near Vancouver, so I think they're just not showing it as an island, but I think that that's probably where you are, Cher. Um, and Cher, she has, uh, she has many talents and does um, clay and drawing and painting and all sorts of other arts, so well done, Cher. Uh, a very uh, talented lady so it's really nice to have you along so um, this is what I'm going to update as we go along and it would be so lovely if anybody who is watching uh, this video in any other country or indeed any country or any other country uh, that is not marked at present how marvelous would it be to have a pin in each country across the world so Anybody in Greenland watching? Look at that massive country. Come on, Greenland. Give us a comment and then we'll know that you're watching. And again, Alaska. There must be somebody watching in Alaska. So comment and let me know that you're, that you're watching. So um, as I say, do, do drop me a note. Do drop me a comment to say where you're viewing from. And I'll add your pin on and we'll do an update of the map as we go along every sort of few videos just to keep everybody up to date. And we're down in the kiln room, which you'll have seen before on the kiln opening videos. Um, and this is my small rotor kiln. This is Midge, um, which you've seen before. Again, there's a video on um, my kilns. Um, so Midge is a 43 litre rotor kiln. 
Um, and this is Mungo, my main kiln, and he is a Rhoda 75 litre kiln. Um, so the kilns run on their own kiln supply. Um, Midge, being a smaller kiln, has just a normal um, three pin plug into the normal electricity. And Mungo, because he is a larger kiln, has his own kiln supply. And then this area I use for um, clay storage. So clay bags are stored in the cupboard under the bench. And then this section of the shelving is for greenware waiting for biscuit firing. So this is where the work dries. Um, and usually if I'm drying things, um, I do them upside down until such time as the bases are dry, just so that they dry evenly. Um, and then this side of the shelving is for glazed ware. Um, so anything that's waiting to go into the kiln um, that's glazed is put on the shelves this side. Um, this is also where the extruders kept on the wall. So we're on the staircase coming up into the studio because the studio is upstairs. Um, so we come up the stairs past the glaze storage, which you will have seen before in the um, textiles, glaze textiles video. So I store my glazes in these, um, what were CD racks. Um, and then I have all my um, test tiles of all the different combinations of glazes that I have tried um, for the students to use. Um, so when they, when they want to decide what they're going to put on their work, um, they can have a look at the test tiles and there's a number on them and also it tells you on the back of the tile uh, what the combination is. So this one is Sky Under Emerald Falls. That one actually is really nice where it breaks over the texture. So that's rather lovely. So this area is glaze storage. You will have seen before the Mitch Lyons picture, which we talked about in the mono printing video. So again, if you haven't seen those, do have a look. Um, I've got the GoPro on a, on a chest um, harness. So I hope it doesn't make you feel woozy as I'm moving around. I'll try not to move too fast. Um, so this area I, I use for display. So obviously there are sculptural poppy heads um, on the on the storage here just so that they're out on display um, various tools the knives and the um, the patters and things are up on there and then if I turn around this is the studio in its entirety so we come up into the, um, what is above our garage um, and is a lovely vaulted space with lots of light. There is actually no um, artificial light on in this room and it's, uh, it's a sunny day. Um, so we have lots of lovely natural light, which is, which is fantastic because it's so nice to work in a nice light workspace. Um, and you'll have seen the decal on the wall from when I do um, the, the, the tutorial demonstration videos, which I tend to do on this side. And again, behind me on the tutorial um, videos are items that are just kind of waiting to uh, find their new homes. Uh, this is obviously a very important area, uh, the coffee making area. So everybody needs to keep their caffeine levels up. So, um, so obviously I use all, all my own mugs for the students and uh, the, the kettle is here and the sink and then, you know, stuff thereof. Um, and then um, underneath the table, if I bend down, um, you'll be able to see that the table underneath has got storage in it. Um, and each student has their own pod um, with their name on it so they can store their work in progress underneath the table. So it's a really good use of the space. Um, these uh, are bits and pieces that have just come out of the kiln that I'm sorting ready to put onto Etsy for sale. Um, these are uh, the textured stamps that I couldn't bear to part with from the last, the last making of textured stamps. So I do like to make the te textured stamps and then I put them all up on Etsy and I think, oh, I'd quite like to have kept some of those. Um, this I just thought I'd share with you. My husband came home one day having sorted out a garage um, and he came back with this, which is metal. It's very heavy. It's uh, cast iron. Um, and he was so pleased with himself. And I looked at it and thought, what on earth am I supposed to do with that? And he said to me, 
Oh, I thought it would make lovely texture. I thought, blimey, he's getting as bad as me. So um, that was my present. You know, no flowers, no chocolates. I just get a metal saw that I can use for texture. But actually, he was right. It does make very good texture. Um, so coming down the uh, studio, the wheels are on this side. So I have two wheels. Um, I have um, an English brand, which is called a discus. And then I have, this is what I call my little dolly wheel. A lot of you I know have got these. It's a shimpo. Um, and actually, when it came, I thought, crikey, that's a tiny little thing. Is it going to be man enough? Um, but what I like about it is that it can be used on a desktop. So if my back is feeling a little bit ginger, um, then I lift the whole thing up and just spin it round onto the studio table which is at a slightly higher level and then I can throw standing up which actually is really useful um, and then I just have my desk with all my uh, computer equipment on which is where I do all the editing etc and as you can see I try to display uh, items that are for sale in the studio because um, we have art trails and various bits and pieces that go on so I do have people coming to the studio uh, to look at my work. And then these are buckets with various tools in, all labelled up. And then these are the plaster moulds that we made on the video a few times ago. Um, my split-fronted um, aprons, which are for sale in the Etsy shop. So um, lots of wonky pots. We love a wonky pot. So um, there are always wonky pots available on the Etsy shop. And I rather like this little saying which is a little progress each day adds up to big results. And I think that's true for every potter. So I like a little inspirational um, sayings. And this um, sort of notice board I use for sort of just ideas of bits and pieces that, that I quite like the look of and one day will try out. So it's quite a useful place to just put little images that you think to yourself, I might well use those in the future. Um, there is my lovely Joe, who we were talking about earlier. Um, this is the paper roll that I use for mono printing. Um, so that's that's really useful to actually have it attached to the wall. Um, and this is my lovely Joe. Um, oh, sorry, Joe, covered your face. Um, that's my lovely Joe, who we lost. So unfortunately, she's no longer with us, but still here in spirit. Um, and as I say, that that really is it. So all the sort of um, tools and bits and pieces that you need the molds and the underglazes and all the this is all mono printing stuff here and then I have all the rollers and boards and goodness only knows what else I seem to have an awful lot of stuff so that's your lot for today just a quick little tour around and a little bit of information about where I am in the world so that you can picture me in my studio when I'm doing my uh, video tutorials so we have students back uh, next week, so um, things are getting back to normal, I'm pleased to say, um, in, here in the studio. So it'll be lovely to have the students back. Um, and actually, my uh, course diary is full now um, from April till September. So um, I can't actually fit any more students in. So we're full up, which is great news. It's really nice to have um, new students coming through the studio so that will be nice to meet new people and pass on my knowledge because I, I really like to uh, to teach and um, bring new people into the magic of clay so anyway um, you know the website address and the Etsy shop is open and as I say give me a comment and I'll see you on the next one keep yourself safe and well and bye for now